Uh, Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer news. Mike Zimmer going to the Cowboys, a return to the Cowboys. He was there between 1994 and sometime in the mid-2000s. 06. How precise of you. I saw it the other day. I think it's I think it's 94 to 06. Okay. Mike Zimmer going back to the Cowboys, 67-year-old defensive coordinator. Your thoughts? Uh, I like it. Um, I think Mike Zimmer, even towards the end of his Minnesota tenure when the Vikings defense overall fell off, it was still really good on third downs. Like He still clearly had teeth and the ability to design good plays at the right time. Now he gets to go back. I think there's a lot of merit generally to these guys who get to go back to being a coordinator. And by that, I mean they get a whole bunch of crap taken off their plate. You know, all the other 17 jobs that come yeah, with being a head coach defense. doesn't have to do any of that anymore. He's just a coordinator. Go coach defense, get your players where they need to be, get your scheme where it needs to be. Spend all your time doing that. And the Dallas Cowboys defense has amazing personnel. We've seen that over the last couple of years. So I, I think it's a really good appointment. How would you describe his defense? I think, you know, they do a lot of uh, trickeration at the line of scrimmage, a lot of yeah. uh, double A gap, sug uh, sugaring the A gaps, as our friend Greg, uh, Greg Cosell likes to say. But it's a four man, right? It, there's some similarities to Jim Schwartz there, where you still he still wants to win with four up front, but create. But the blitz packages and the third down defense has always been really good for Zimmer. How would you describe his defense? I think it's perfect for the way the league is going right now on defense, which is to increase the frequency and the, uh, the amount of that trickery and misdirection and uh, disguise that's going on, whether it's with you know, linebackers in the A-gap, whether it's with rotating safeties, pre and post snap, like pressure looks, all those kinds of things. Zimmer already did all that stuff with his defense. So it's not, you know, it's, it's a slightly different scheme. It's not the same uh, necessarily as that Mike McDonald defense, but it's the same idea. Like, that's the kind of stuff that Zimmer excelled at anyway. Um, I think it's interesting, too, when you look at the division and what the Eagles just had to deal with and how bad they were at handling blitz packages. And I know they've got Kellen Moore in there, and it's a, it's a new offensive system, and they'll you know maybe have better answers against the blitz. But remember, there were points in Zimmer's career, they would play the Lions twice a year, and they, there were times where they just broke the Lions' pass protection rules. There was that one game, I think Stafford got sacked seven or eight times, and it wasn't because the offensive line was getting beaten up. It was because they just couldn't block it. They didn't know who to block. Right. And they just out-schemed the Lions at that particular time. Zimmer has a lot of those games under his belt historically, and I think that's an interesting matchup going up against the Eagles in particular and how Jalen Hurts uh, didn't really handle the blitz, and the whole system, the, the team didn't handle the blitz, so they're going to have to have answers. So it's two new coordinators and everything, but – the teams they're going up against, right? I mean, who are the Cowboys trying to beat? What's the hump they're trying to get over? It's the Eagles. It's the 49ers. It's all the best teams in the NFC. And, uh, look, Dan Quinn, I think, did a really good job there. But I think this is at least a lateral type of move. Yeah. Bring in Zimmer in for Dan Quinn. I mean, Dan Quinn leaving was a big blow to this defense. He's done a fantastic job over the last couple of years. If you're Dallas, you're like, how do we avoid going backwards losing Dan Quinn? I think Mike Zimmer avoids going backwards. So I think it's a really nice hire.